California. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would just like to thank you and the staff for working with me to include language in this en bloc package, which directs the Secretary of the Navy and the Commandant of the Marine Corps to work in coordination with the Secretary of the Army to develop a joint acquisition strategy to provide more effective personal protective equipment to meet the specific and the unique requirements for our female Marines and soldiers. As we continue to integrate our Marines and our female Marines and soldiers into the Army and Marines, it's now even more important to ensure that the equipment that they have is actually outfitted for them so they do their job properly. Females are built differently. And it's not just about the stature, but it's it's just that they have different bodies than, than men. And so it's not just about purchasing smaller sizes for our female Marines and soldiers, but actually about developing the gear that will fit them and is made specifically for their needs. So the Army has taken a number of steps to field combat gear sized and fitted for females. They've developed new plate sizes, um, to, uh, to cover uh, the differences between the genders, etc. My amendment would have the Marine Corps collaborate with the Army and make sure that this gender-specific equipment uh, is made correctly. Um, I think when the two services can get together, we can save money, we can get the right equipment, and it will allow our female leaders um, to uh, be even better in combat situations. And I yield back.